today layer for layer we about to get into it we about to break everything down show you how i get through the process and show you how to make some golden work let's get it what's going on everybody hope everybody's day is good today man hope it is good today so listen we into a new series called layer for layer so basically what i'm doing i'm going through each layer saying why I even put it down in the you you know you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about yeah the layers palette let's get it yeah so we into it today because i do want to show the other designers that worry how do i even make my work how can I improve my work? You know, you can take some tips from this and run with it. Literally, just go ahead and go run it. So, with that being said, we about to go ahead and hop into it so I can go ahead and show y'all. But like I said, before we start the video, go ahead and drop a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and comment. What was your favorite part? What was your favorite tip? I don't know. Just comment. Just interact. Let's get it. You know? Let's do it. All right. So, let's go ahead and get into it, man. You know no further intro from there so we got this one little piece right here that i did for my teammate you know because i started to do a lot more sports work if y'all don't know you know that's what i do so like i said i'm gonna just go through each of these layers and break down why i even put them on here so y'all can understand you know how to create something great so if y'all want to you know just a quick shortcut just hold down shift and just like go all the way down and they'll take everything away all right so we got a blank canvas so first of all let's just start off with you know just the size of everything you know you got 1400 by 1750 resolution 72 i don't really change the resolution like that i'm gonna just be honest with you but yeah i definitely don't change it but this is the size that i use you know it's good for twitter it's good for instagram as well you know that's what i'll use so all right first of all let's start off okay so i kind of wanted to put him and like a, a space type of thing you know i wanted to be spacey but not at the same time spacey if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but i did want to kind of have like a a night like background you know just to give it a a real nice look because i know i wanted to put a whole bunch of highlights on there you know so i can pop everything out so that's why i went on ahead and put this background so what i like to do as well is like do another layer but you know and switch to blending modes because i like to add clouds to it it's just something about clouds that just doesn't instead of just having like a blank um background i just like to add clouds to it it just gives it like a more detailed look you know just something beautiful that i'm looking at so after that i added another layer just like not too harsh but um i just added some planets on there because like i said i do want to have like a space theme in a in a certain type of way you know so all right so this was just an extra light because when you add lights to a picture you don't want to overdo it no you don't want to overdo it but at the same time you do want to add some lights to um you know um add emphasis to other things so let's keep on going and so most of these lights really you won't see that um they go into like the players like they, these are like some lights behind the players and whatnot to pop out everything so once we get through with the lights because these are like the main lights so now we have a mountain you know and i like to set up like the background and the middle ground and the foreground that's how i usually set up my um composition and whatnot because you know without it i don't know what i would do because i literally this is the way that I think about uh, the design process, you know, when I'm designing, you know, I think about real life, you know, what would be behind me in real life, you know, what would be close to me in my vicinity in real life, what would be in front of me in real life, you know, as taking a picture. And that's why I, I get like more realistic, like outcomes in a sense. So after that, um, we just going to go ahead and blend in a little bit. So we got the hue and saturation and the exposure. That's basically the main things that you need to use to blend in stuff is like human saturation exposure and then like levels it's not that complicated to blend in stuff you know don't ever think that it's hard blending it's not all right so after that i added a city because i do 
like with the details on it i like to add any like cities that relate to it and it just helps me get more ideas and hence why i don't really get too many creative blocks is because i'm adding images that relate to the design you know i'm not adding just random things like you can't just throw on random things on a piece and think it's gonna come together to be good you'll be stuck there for hours so try to find things that relate you know to the project that you're doing right now or the design that you're doing so after that i just added a gradient map levels then exposure then after that i added a color balance and then a hue and saturation to make it darker then i started to do my highlights which i will be doing a video on is how to do them highlights because i know y'all need to know so i did my highlights over here nothing too crazy then i did my particles i just love my particles like it's just something about particles that i add that it just oh my god it just gives it a nice little look so all right so here is the raw player that i am using all right i didn't do anything to him yet nothing this is just how he came out so I like to use color lookups too because color, color lookups are underrated and we gonna go into a whole nother video on that as well all right so the next thing i did was a color balance you know mess with the tones on the color balance that's what color balance do like does you know you get to mess with the different tones so you can match up the tones like as far as like the color tones and whatnot you know on the piece so next thing you want to do is add the curves so this is what i like to do with the curves so let's go ahead and look at the curves real quick so I put it down a little bit. So this is like the dodging and the burning and whatnot. So I just added like a little like effect to it. Let's just go and go into it. Just add like some depths, like some more shadows to it, you know, just to give it a, a more like realistic look, like just make it ultra realistic type of time. OK, so I added some more curves for the hair as well. And like I said, I just popped out some of the shadows um that was on the hair and whatnot and so the next thing that i did was just darken them i didn't want to darken the jersey because i do like to match up like the jer jersey colors and everything like that but we have to take into account that it is like a a darker background and as well you know like i said i did want to set up the highlights so i can have highlights on the players so let's keep going and get into it so the next thing is me adding the highlights you know all you have to do is just add like the hue and saturation you know and colorize it but like i said that's for another video and we'll get into that so after that i just keep on adding my highlights and of course the more you go into details with the, with your highlights the more it will look better you know but i didn't go too crazy on this one so i just keep on adding adjustments levels hue and saturation um everything like that so this is how it is like when everything is blended in i know it looks weird but we still have more images to add to it okay so right here this was kind of like the dust like in a way you know because i do like to add that as well because i i like to have multiple like images of the player on the screen that's just how i like to you know set up my design so i put a light back here and then this is my other character. And so the reason why I put the light back here is because I had a character right here. You know, and this just pops it out more, leaves more room for me to add highlights to it. Because like I said, this is a piece where I want to add a whole bunch of highlights to it. All right. So let's keep on going. This is now we in the blended part of it. So I added a black and white right here. And then hold on. I don't even think I use that. <laughs> but all right. So we did a human saturation. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that back. So we got a color mixer right here the color mixer it just brought out more like of the darkness of it like more of the shadows on the jersey and whatnot just made it pop it out more so after that we added the highlights highlights and then another hue and saturation now comes in the um right okay now comes in we just put in the ground down here so then we had the levels so like with the levels i just made it darker you know because the more an image is closer to your face the more it'll get like darker and blurred as well but you know i just like to um put more emphasis like on this part right here like in the middle rather than the out like the what would you call that like the outer part of it let's say so 
I finished adding the levels. Then after that, I added another screenshot of him like doing the jump shot. And usually I would just go with two images, but for this one, I just felt like it was right to go ahead and um, just add two, you know, being what the images were. It just depends on the images, you know, and I can decide from there, you know, how much do I even want to use. So after that, all I did was just make him black and white because you want to match up your tones as much as possible match up everything like if you can match up the skin tone match up the color of the jersey you know it really doesn't matter just try to make everything match because color plays a very important part on how great your design even comes out because if you just have colors everywhere then your design is not going to look as good you may have a good composition but the if the colors are not right you know it's really going to throw it off but the moment you start matching up all of your colors just remember that match up all of your colors in some way form of fashion you'll be okay your designs will come out 10 times better trust me on that one i already know so added a color um a channel mixer yeah that's what it is channel mixer then i added some more lights you know to pop up it pop out everything then i added another vignette then after that class of 2022 because that's his class and whatnot you know just little details you still want to throw in there then after that i did the text so text tutorial as well coming coming very soon planning is very much very much important because if y'all don't plan a piece then it won't be executed as good as you need it to be you know all of these top designers yeah they've been designing for a long time but they still have to sketch out some like some way or it's gonna become creative block we all humans at the end of the day all right so make sure that you writing out different things make sure you're done sketching down everything that you need on a piece so you can come to photoshop and execute like you need to execute all right because we don't want to just sit here three to four hours on one little banner when it could have been knocked out in like one to two if you were to execute it the right way that you need to and it, it might be even less than that when you get your flow of Photoshop and everything like that, you'll be good, all right? So this is the first episode, a layer for layer. Like I said, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, do everything, go ahead and share the video. We're gonna be coming out with more episodes of this. You know, it's gonna be another part two coming later this week, all right? So just stay tuned for that. But everybody, please have a blessed day. And